Right guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the AirPod Pros second generation. Now, I've had these for over a year now. I bought them back in September 2022. I've had some really quality time to test them out. Every single day they've been in my pocket. I absolutely love these, they are incredible. If you wanna click off the video now, go ahead. They're probably some of the best headphones I've ever tried. If you do wanna know a little bit more about them, stay tuned to today's video. But if you enjoy the content, do me a massive favor, hit the like on today's video and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So from a design point of view, these things have not changed from the first generation of AirPod Pros, or at least if you're looking at them from a distance. There are a few subtle features that have improved from the original ones, such as on the case itself. There is now a lanyard loop if you want to connect them to a lanyard. I don't think anyone ever does that, but it's there if you want it. There's also a speaker on the new AirPods case, so if you do lose these, you can actually just use your Find My on your phone. It'll play a loud noise. You'll be able to find them much easier. Now, because of the whole change to USB-C everywhere, Apple have recently just created a revision of the AirPods Pros with basically the same thing, just with USB-C port on the bottom of it. On a whole, it makes no difference to me. I have absolutely no reason to upgrade to the USB-C ones. I don't think I've actually plugged these in once since I bought them. I literally just throw them on my wireless charging stand or if I'm out and about, I'll have an Apple Watch charger with me. I can charge it on the Apple Watch charger as well. That is really, really useful. I just wanted to throw that out there because there is now the USB-C version for the AirPods Pros, but the one I've got here is the Lightning version, but sound quality and everything else is exactly the same. It's literally just a USB-C port. Now it does go without saying, if you haven't got an iPhone, it's not gonna be the best experience or at least as best it can be. I don't truly believe that you should completely just void these off completely. I think if you've got a Samsung phone, you want some good quality headphones, there are definitely other options compared to the AirPods. You definitely can use them. You don't get access to the spatial audio, but you can still use this tr the transparency, the noise cancellation. It's not the same experience you're gonna get using the AirPods on an iPhone. It's just the way it is. But on a whole, if you've got an iPhone, these things are awesome. On Black Friday 2023, I did see these come down to 220 quid. That is incredibly well priced for the quality of headphones you're getting. Just, just from the fact that they sound incredible, but also how small the case is, how long the battery lasts, how small they actually are in your ear, the fact it comes with multiple ear tips, it's the best transparency out right now, hands down. Noise cancellation is also really good as well, but personally I think there are better options for noise cancellation. But transparency, you don't get better than the AirPods Pros. I'm standing by that. If you are going to get the AirPods, I would absolutely recommend using spatial audio. When I say spatial audio, I don't mean the head tracking one. That is bad. I don't like that. The fixed spatial audio is awesome. The only way I could describe this, it feels like you've got like a whole 7.1 surround sound system from afar coming at you. It sounds awesome, but it's not like a gimmicky thing either. It genuinely does sound really good. But all that to the side, the most impressive thing for me anyway about the AirPods is the connectivity that you've got with these. Not only it connects to the iPhone as soon as you put them in your ear, and it's never, I've never had a problem with that. If I open up my MacBook, for example, or I'm working at my desk, it gives me the option to connect to them straight away. Or if I just want to jump into bed and watch TV on the Apple TV, as soon as I've got my AirPods in, it'll say, click OK, and it'll connect them to your AirPods. And all of a sudden, you've got that spatial audio coming from your Apple TV. Honestly, you, you, you've got to try it. It is incredible. If you've got AirPods Pros, get an Apple TV. You won't regret it. Honestly, they are the best in-ear sound system I've had for a TV ever. And the reason that is, is also because the AirPods Pros are so small, I forget they're in my ear. So I'm sat there watching a film for two hours, three hours, and I just feel like I've got a surround sound system around me. It doesn't even feel like I've got headphones in. So I can lay down, I can turn around and lay down and be comfy, and I don't feel like I've got massive headphones on my head. And it just sounds incredible. To be fair though, that is the one time I would actually recommend using the head tracking spatial audio is when you're using it through the Apple TV because it actually makes it feel like the sound is coming from the TV and that doesn't sound as weird. But when you've just got your phone on and you've got head tracking, it sounds like it's coming from in front of you, but from nowhere. So yeah, head tracking is only good on Apple TV, I would say. Or if you're using it on a MacBook as well, that'd probably be okay as well. But the whole setup process for the spatial audio is really cool. It measures your head. It makes you go through all this setup process, which measures like your face and how far your ears are apart and things like that. I don't know what it's doing, but it sounds awesome. So honestly, well done, Apple. I've had these for about 15 months now. You expect things to deteriorate over time, but the noise cancellation and the transparency has got significantly worse. For example, I'll be on the bus and I've got noise cancellation on because I don't want to hear anything around me. But then the left one will keep popping back in and out and it'll be really weird and 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 noise can and transparency is not as strong anymore. I don't know what the issue is. It's sound quality is still high high tier. It's the sound quality is still there, really, really high quality. It's just the noise cancellation and transparency. I don't know if it's because the ear tips are deteriorating after I've been using them for two, a year and a half, because they are only rubber at the end of the day. They might be deteriorating. 
it's not a, it's not a deal breaker. Definitely something to keep in mind. On the other hand, one thing that has surprised me really positively for the AirPods is the durability. Now thinking about it, the fact that these went in the washing machine probably did impact the fact that noise cancellation is not working too much. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Basically what I'm trying to say is these have been to the washing machine twice now, I think, and they're still fine. Obviously the audio is fine. The noise cancellation is a little bit hit and miss, but it, on, on, on a whole, they survived really well. I don't know if you've ever done that before, but they seem to be quite waterproof. So I'm not going to say go swimming with them, but if you do happen to drop them somewhere, they'll probably be all right. As far as I'm aware, it's not rated for any major water resistance. So don't come back to me if you do drop them in the bath and it's break. But what I am trying to say is if you're walking home and it's chucking it down, you don't need to take them out. It's not going to ruin them, I don't think. From my experience anyway. Another issue I have had with the AirPods Pros, I don't know if I've got a faulty model or anything like that, but the the mic quality, it's always been terrible on them. It always makes me sound really muffled. I don't know if I've got a faulty pair of AirPods. The mic quality isn't very good at all. It does sound really muffled. And that's not because I throw them in the washing machine. That's just, they've always been like that. But the microphone aside, for your point of view, being on a phone call while having these in your ear is great. You can hear the person on the other side hands-free with transparency mode on as well. So you can hear the world around you while you're on phone call. You don't have to have your phone to your ear. It, to be honest, I really, really like these AirPods for taking phone calls. It's just, yeah, the mic is a little bit muffled sometimes. But on a whole, these things are awesome. They are really well priced for what you're getting. 220 quid, you can't complain. Like yeah, that, is a, that is a standard price for premium headphones. You're not overpaying by any means. And for the money, you're getting really high quality sound. Top notch noise cancellation and transparency. Overall, these things are a must buy, especially if you've already got an iPhone. I think there are definitely better options out there if you've got a Samsung phone or an Android phone in general. But iPhone users, it doesn't get better than this. Comparing these to the other AirPods that are available right now, what I would say, the second generation AirPods, the cheapest ones, avoid them. They're not good. The third generation, they're good. I think the extra price for the noise cancellation, the transparency, the better sound quality, for actually like 50 quid or whatever it is, it's absolutely worth it. So even then I wouldn't even recommend the AirPod third generations. The second generation, definitely not. The third do sound much better. From my opinion, if you're buying the AirPod second generation, you're paying 130 quid, you can get so many better headphones for that price. So on a whole, if you want a good pair of headphones from Apple, get the AirPods Pros. On that note, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you've got the money and you've got the budget, buy them. They, they are really, really good. You, you won't be disappointed. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a massive favor, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. But let me know down below if you're looking to buy the AirPods Pros, if you've got them already, what you think about them, just comment. If you don't have anything to comment, comment a heart. Helps engagement. But on that note, I will see you next time. Goodbye.